Okay, so uh, one day I was drinking um, this coffee, um, and I looked down at the can, and there was I saw the embossed uh, lettering here, and uh, I thought it would be pretty cool to see if I could um, recreate this using some aluminum uh, and using um, a logo of my choosing. So that's what today's video is going to be about. To hold both plates, I used M5 15 millimeters long screws. Just putting on the flange nuts. Um, and if you don't know about them, they basically have an integrated washer with the nut, which is really good for when you want to distribute the pressure. Okay, I'm just going to use my own uh, um, soft hammer that I made. So I ended up having to use my anvil to hit the um, embossing piece against. This is the final product. Um, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of improvement to be done, but overall for my uh, first attempt, I think it actually turned out quite nice and you can clearly see the general idea of what it is is just two pickaxes. As for the uh, molds, I guess uh, the um, the female end. Uh, this is actually still in pretty good condition. I could reuse this, but for the uh, male end, this was destroyed in the process while I was hitting it. Um, so I this was uh, I think it was twenty percent infill or something uh, close to that. Um, I should have really used 40% uh, instead of cheaping out because, you know, this is really going to take uh, a lot of uh, force. So one thing I just noticed is um, there's actually a seam here uh, where the plastic was being hit so hard that it actually um, was able to rip, for lack of a better word, the metal. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys um, this time. Uh, I do have a bigger project with uh, a lot of electronics, um, machining, uh, 3D printing, and uh, other stuff um, in the making. But it's it took longer than I had initially hoped. 